What exactly is marketing? Episode 162 of the Marketing for Owners podcast with me, John. This is the show, daily, sort of five to ten minutes. I used to say it's five minutes, but to be honest, five to ten, because I go on a bit. But on each weekday, I give you a simple lesson on marketing, something that will help your business, make you think it's for free, it's going to help, and it's what I use to successfully market my businesses without a single salesperson and without even being there half the time. How cool is that? So, marketing. It's a word you'll hear everywhere, all the time. But many people have different definitions. Mine is very simple. Marketing is everything before and after the process of taking the money from your customer. It is everything else. So when your customer says, yes, I'll have that, and you say, I have your money, and she hands you the money, that's as much selling as we want. The rest of it is marketing. It's everything. And every single person that works for you or works with you is or should be marketing and they should be thinking about it at all times for example when you if you send goods out or if you deliver goods when you package the goods it needs to be packaged correctly so that the goods will get there but it needs to be packaged in a way that shows you put some effort into the packaging. So I would recommend that you do not use second-hand packaging, unless it's a giant box, that's all you've got. But I would recommend that when you package it, you package everything uniformly and you have a standard way to tape up the box. You put inserts within your packaging that have some extras. Now we put a little insert in that says Thank you. Within it, it has some explanations of the warranty. We've got a warranty. Why not tell people it exists? We also give a little offer. We will print out their delivery note on neat headed note paper. Obviously, it's computerized, but that still has to be set up and it has to be laid out to look professional and easily readable. We put those in proper dispatch things on the side. When we put the carrier's label on, it's put on neatly. It's not just slapped on. We put certain little stickers on the outside, which we have custom printed, that will tell people there are additional documents inside. Little things like that. Now, I've had things from people the other way coming in, where they put in a a bag of Maltesers or some candy or sweets. Little things that cost pennies that we think, Oh, that's nice. And all that, oh, that's nice, adds to the memory bank of, that's a nice company. Now, that's packaging. When someone comes to your door, do you have a procedure? For instance, if uh, in hours, when you come to the door, you have to ring, because we're an office and a warehouse, so we can't let just anyone wander around. So you have to ring a buzzer outside and buzz up. Now, anybody can answer that, and all of our staff know the procedure of what to do when they go down to meet the person. We don't just buzz them and say, come on up. They go down, they will say, I'll come down and see you. They buzz them, let them in, go down and see them. Then they know what to say, where to take them, where to park them, depending on what it is. And that's all members of staff. Don't forget, someone could just be wandering past from your warehouse who doesn't answer phones. They could see someone at the door, go up there and open the door. You don't want them saying, yeah, What do you want? Yes, that's marketing. In your accounts department, when someone owes you money and you want to wring their neck, you still have to, or your bookkeeper or your accounts department, have to phone them and say, hello, this is X company, my name's so-and-so. And you would have a procedure that sounds professional, it sounds regimented uh, or it's so that it's consistent and it is a tested method and you're going to sound polite that is marketing 
at the other end. You don't know who you're speaking to. It might just be a credit clerk who's a person who just writes a check out, doesn't do any buying, but it might be the boss of the company who may have been about to place a large order as soon as they paid this last one. And you're thinking, I don't like them, they don't pay. But hey, they may have had a one-off problem, they may have lost the invoice, etc. There may be some genuine reason. No, I don't ever believe those reasons either. But you never know, that big order. Everybody is marketing, and that's it. And afterwards, after you've got the sale, you don't think, yes, that's it. No, that's when the magic starts. That's where you turn them into a preacher. You contact them a little while afterwards and say, we just wanted to make sure that you received your goods. Were they what you were expecting? Is there anything I can help with? Did you know about that we also offer? Yeah. Now, the marketing doesn't have to be like that. You can just phone up and check they're okay. A week later, you could send them a box of chocolates. Depend on your price point and so on. You could send them, and how many clients you have, if you don't have many and they pay a lot of money, you could send them a bunch of flowers. You may have asked for their birthday at some point. You can, you can send them a card on a birthday. Wouldn't it be cool if you asked for their spouse's birthday and sent their spouse something? as well on their birthday, something that's better than your client. How cool is that when their husband is going to say, cool, I just got a bottle of whiskey from so-and-so or whatever it is. You make sure you keep buying from those, love. Yeah. Marketing is everything. Okay. Tuesday. Tuesday's toolbox tip today is Buzz Sumo. BuzzSumo is an online service. It is paid, but there's also a free version. The free version is plenty good enough for most of us. When we are generating content, when we are generating ideas, when we are thinking of infographics to create or ways to share, BuzzSumo, spelt B-U-Z-Z-S-U-M-O dot com, or in, um, in the USA, spelt B-U-Z-Z-S-U-M-O. Com. We're all international here. It, it's just darn clever. If, if I want to see how, if I come up with an idea and a title for something, if I want to see how popular that is, I'll go enter it in BuzzSumo and see how many times that kind of item gets shared and where it gets shared, who shares it. I can even then uh, use the top result as influence and then go find who shared use on another tool I mentioned another day find out who exactly shared that when they shared it contact those people and say hey I've got an updated version of that and a slightly better one with twice as many thought you might be interested in taking a look buzzsumo.com our toolbox tip for today I'll have more next week tomorrow is a friendly follow